Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples mumbered, uh, and it isn't that something, isn't that what a lot of folk do? Yeah. Yeah. They always murmur and complain right. and whine. Yeah. Oh yeah, and even Jesus had this problem. He said, verse 60, many therefore his disciples when they had heard this said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, uh, he said unto them, doest this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, and the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. Notice that. There are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who shall betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except uh, it were given unto him uh, of my father. And from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. And then said Jesus uh, unto the twelve, Will you go away also? And then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was he who was to should have betrayed him, being one of the twelve. Beloved, that will be enough reading here in the Word of God. Here in chapter 6, uh, is following a great miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 and the multitudes. And, and they say, uh, uh, some studies tell us that it was not only 5,000, but it could have been with women and children. It could have been as much as fifteen to 20,000 people that uh, Jesus uh, had fed that day. They came, uh, uh, they came uh, to a place and uh, they had all of these men and women and children and they didn't have enough food. And the disciples come to Jesus and said, uh, how are we going to feed uh, the multitudes of people? We don't have enough money in the treasury to go to the city and buy enough food uh, to feed all of these people. Uh, and uh, they said, we found a little boy who has five loaves of bread uh, and two fish. And Jesus uh, 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 took the little boy's lunch. Uh, thank God that little boy was willing to share his lunch and because he was willing to share that little lunch God can take what is little and do much with it. Somebody yeah. say amen right there. If that little boy had just kept his lunch it would have only been him but because he shared it with Jesus, the Messiah the Son of God he was able to take the five loaves and two fish and be able to feed as much as 15 to 20,000 people. And they took up 12 baskets of scraps. Amen. Now that's power and that's a great miracle. And then after the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 had taken place, Jesus sent the disciples, uh, his small group, uh, the 12 that he had chosen. Uh, he put them in a little ship uh, and sent them uh, over to Caparium uh, across the sea. Uh, and he went up into a mountain uh, by himself uh, to pray. Uh, now, some of them in this large crowd uh, of people who had been following Jesus, uh, multitudes uh, were following Jesus. Uh, they had uh, uh, eat of the food uh, they had been fed uh, with the five loaves uh, and the two fishes. Uh, and so therefore, uh, after they had eaten, uh, and they came down to the seashore, uh, and they seen that the disciples uh, had already been sent uh, to the 
other side, uh, and Jesus had went up to the mountain by himself uh, to pray, uh, and then uh, there was no other ships there, uh, and then a ship come along, uh, and so a group of the disciples, uh, or the multitude that was following Christ, uh, got on the ship uh, and went to the other side. Uh, when they got to the other side, uh, they noticed uh, that Jesus uh, had already got to the other side, uh, and they were amazed. Uh, they were astonished, uh, and they began to ask him, uh, Hey, uh, how'd you get over here? Uh, you see, if you read in chapter 6, uh, as you read it after Jesus uh, come down from the mountain praying, uh, that is the story where he walked uh, on the water, uh, and he walked across on the sea, uh, and joined the disciples in the boat, uh, and went the rest of the way uh, to compare him. Uh, but this multitude of people uh, did not know that, uh, and they were amazed, uh, they were astonished. Uh, because they knew uh, that Jesus had sent the twelve uh, away uh, and he had went up to a mountain uh, by himself. Uh, there was no more boats uh, to be taken. They had to catch a ship uh, that was riding by. Uh, they got on that ship, went to the other side, uh, and there stood uh, Jesus. Uh, and they looked at him uh, and said, Hey, uh, how did you get over here? Uh, and then uh, Jesus began to pick up the story uh, in verse 9. Number uh, 66, uh, from that time, uh, many of his disciples went back uh, and walked uh, no more with him. Uh, and then Jesus said unto the twelve, uh, will you go away also? And that's what I want to speak to you a few moments uh, on this morning. Uh, and I want to ask you uh, the same question this morning. Uh, will uh, you go away also? Will you go away uh, from believing on the Lord Jesus Christ uh, also? You see, Jesus uh, had just told uh, uh, in our reading today uh, that many of them uh, believed not. You see, there was a great multitude uh, that followed Jesus uh, just because uh, of the miracles that he performed. Uh, they knew uh, that as long as they was close to Jesus, uh, they would benefit uh, from the many miracles uh, that he performed. Uh, but he knew uh, that deep down uh, inside of them, uh, they truly uh, did not believe uh, that he was uh, who he said he was. May I say this to you this morning? Uh, God uh, does not be impressed uh, because you sing this morning. God is not impressed uh, because you are a teacher today. God is not impressed uh, because you are a, a speaker today uh, or a preacher today. God is not impressed uh, because uh, you come to church this morning uh, dressed up. Uh, God is not impressed uh, because you brought your Bible uh, to church this morning. Uh, that does not uh, impress God. Uh, it does not impress Him uh, because occasionally uh, when you feel like it, uh, you will raise your hand uh, and wave to the Lord. Uh, that does not uh, impress Him uh, this morning. Uh, what impresses God this morning is that deep down uh, inside uh, the inner heart uh, of a man uh, that person uh, believes uh, and is sure uh, that Jesus uh, is uh, the Son of God. Amen. 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 Yeah. May I say to you this morning uh, there are multitudes of people uh,